Welcome to the Basketball Court Game Planner. Hey, this is great to use for training your team or just making plays. Basketball plays. You just have to use your fingers with this. This is an Excel package in the background with a lot of codes behind it, giving you all the bu buttons that you need at the very bottom. And we use the Excel draw to make this thing work perfectly. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do, since I have this basketball court game planner written on the screen, is clear the screen. There's a button at the bottom called clear all. Say yes, that will clear all your drawings. And if you type something in, it will clear that also. Now, we want to get started by pressing draw. Now, if you're not already in draw, when you press draw, you might be on something else. You need to get back over on the draw menu. So draw just simply turns the buttons on and off. So end draw turns the, the pens off. Draw turns the pens on. When the pens are off, you can move from down the, the scoreboard uh, and draw. You can move to different courts and be able to draw different plays or make notes or whatever you think is important for your team. So when I go back to draw again, uh, it will come on automatically. Sometimes it gives us a message uh, if you were in a previous action. But now we can select a color and we can make, uh, let's select green and let's come up with a, a full court setup. You know, let's say uh, we want our guys to set up this way for full court. If somebody takes the ball out, then we might want to say we want the defense. So you can pick a, a color anywhere. You could leave your green up and pick another color. Your defense, you want them to be protect the basket. Maybe protect around half court. Uh, don't get tricked, but maybe stay here, stay here. And then you probably want to go back and say, where do I want the, the, my guys to go? My first guy probably goes there. The ball comes in as the one guy makes a curl. So it could be as simple as that. Now, we can also end the drawing to do another drawing. Now, this, this way... We can move to another court and the pens are off, so it's not going to cause any ink to happen on your movement. So I'm on another court. This time, I'm just simply going to do uh, draw, let's say a 2-3 zone, okay? So here, I'm just going to enter uh, just some positions, three positions at the bottom, two at the top. That's my 2-3 zone. Let's end draw, go to the next one. Let's do a 2-1-2 a two -two zone. And so this one, we're going to do draw, and we're going to do two at the top, one in the middle, two at the bottom. That's a two, one, two. A great thing we can do here is we can end draw, and we can tag our drawing so we can get back to it when we want to. Let's say, uh, okay, this time, <laughs> the one thing I didn't do is let's get out of here by going to, uh, we need to do end draw. We need to actually tag the area before we do that. Now we can do tag area, and when we do tag area, we can go in and put a name to it. So let's call this uh, two space one two. And we could write more like zone. In fact, I will add zone to it. And now I hit enter. Uh, I spelled zone wrong, but that's okay. <laughs> hit enter, and uh, now we can go to the next one, and we can tag that one also. Let's call this two three. So again, we go to tag area. Uh, as long as you end. If you enter something, you will tag it. If you don't enter anything, it takes you to that menu you saw before. And we'll talk more about that. So this is going to be two space three and add the word zone. Z-O-N-E <laughs> this time. And then the first one, uh, I'm just going to call this one main. And so same thing, go to tag area, type in main, M-A-I-N. Hit enter on the keyboard or OK on the screen would have worked. And then we're able to go over and now look at our tagged areas by clicking tag area again. But this time we don't enter anything. We just simply say OK. And here's our list of tagged areas. Now we can go back to uh, that 2-3 just by touching 2-3. And here's our 2-3. Uh, 
even though there's no need to do this, we can go to one of the many courts and just give it a name. Uh, we can give it empty. The only reason for doing this is to demonstrate, uh, again, that you can find anything by going to the tagged area, doing OK. Uh, let's go to 212. There it is. Now let's go back to tag area. Let's find, just do OK. It will take us to this menu. We're going to go to empty. There, it takes us there. That's what's cool about it. You have hundreds of courts available to you. You can make any play you want any idea, keep track of them, catch up to them later. Just use your finger. That's all you need. And you need Excel and you need an Excel, uh, a computer where you can use, that is a touch screen. You can use your finger to make it happen. Until next time.